Hey, welcome to another video tutorial on InSearch. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you another free screen capture and share software, LightShot, that lets you capture screenshots, annotate them, and share them with your team or collaborators or friends. This can be handy in web design projects or in remote software tutorial projects or when you want to record an issue for your IT support department or much more. To obtain the software, go to Google and Google LightShot and it is this first one here with the website called brainscreen.com. I have a link to this website in the description section down below. A quick look here shows me they have the software for Mac and Windows. I have Windows so I am going to download this one. Once you download and install as you would with any other programs, you will have an icon in your start menu where you can open the program. Once you open the program, you will notice an other icon on the tray down here below on the right. If you had no other screen capture software on your computer before installing, your install will let the program have the keyboard shortcut print screen. But at the end of this video, I am going to show you how you can make the print screen key to be used by this program or how you can change it into some other keyboard shortcut. But keeping it simple and straightforward now, to use the program, click on this feather or use the shortcut print screen if that has been registered on your computer and the screen will get darker. And you will see an instructing hovering text on the cursor telling you to select area. All you have to do now is to left mouse click and drag the mouse over the area of the screen you need to screenshot. The area will lighten up compared to the surroundings. Once you have selected an area of interest, you can still grab the window to its side on these handles here and make adjustments if you wish to. Now we see we have a toolbox appearing here below on the right. Let us take a look at the tools. The first we will take is this pencil tool. We can click on it and do freehand drawing like drawing any structure or writing some text freehand and you may wonder how you could increase or decrease the width or thickness of the line. You can do this by scrolling on the mouse wheel if you have one. Scroll forward to reduce the size and backward to increase the size of the object. By the way, this way of increasing or decreasing the size of the object applies for all other features of the toolbox, be it lines, text or some other things. Next, you can draw straight lines using this line tool by left mouse clicking on it and drawing on the board. And also you can increase or reduce the size by using the mouse wheel. Next, you can use the arrow tool for pointing to things within your screenshot. And the next one is the rectangle tool which you can use to pull over an area of interest to highlight it. And you can use the highlight tool to highlight some text just like you will use some marker to highlight text on paper. And the text tool could be used to write some text and like before you could increase or decrease the size using the mouse wheel even after you have typed in the text and you could grab this text box to move the text around if you wish to. And before using a tool, you could choose the color from here below by clicking on this color tool, getting one of the colors in this palette and then moving on to the board to draw or to use the tool of interest. Once done with annotating your screenshot, you can upload the image to printscreen.com by selecting here and we see this dialog box saying upload image and we can open or copy the link. I open it and here we have our image online. Right clicking on this image, we can copy the web address of the image and pasting it in a browser shows us the raw image standing all by itself. 
and now back to our screenshot to see different ways of sharing. You can click on this icon to share it on social networks like WhatsApp, Facebook, and if I click on it, you see the possibilities that exist. And next, you can click on this icon to search similar images on Google. And next, you can click here to print the image directly, or you can click here to copy the image into your clipboard and paste somewhere else. And finally, you can click here to save the image on your computer. And next, you can click here to exit the program if you're done. Lastly, I wish to show you how to change the settings of the program. To change the settings, click on this caret below in the tray and then right click on the software icon and choose options. You will see this window come up with tabs. Under general, you have a couple of things you can select, including the choice of language. Under hotkeys, you can define the hotkeys to ones of your choice. Here for my one, I have a German computer and these are the hotkeys. The general hotkey is print and the instant save full screen is shift print. I could write any keys I want here so that I reprogram or reconfigure the keyboard shortcut. Under format, you could choose the image type and adjust the quality and under proxy, which is the next tab, you can set up the proxies. Please do not change the proxy settings unless you absolutely know what you're doing. As you can see, this is another free alternative to commercial products like Snagit or to free ones like Greenshot. If you have watched my Greenshot tutorial and used the program before, please leave your comments down below. Let us know how you compare the programs. If you are new here, however, please visit the link for the Greenshot tutorial in the description section down below and see if that is a better alternative for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video tutorial. Bye bye.